Hello and welcome to my channel. Yes, there is a mess there by the incense burner. I just haven't got around to chucking those out, but I did at the end of the day. So just a heads up for that one. I didn't record ditching those. But I thought I'd introduce myself to all my newbies. So I'm Adele, I'm a 30 year old mum to four beautiful children. We live in Cornwall and we just love the easy life. I like the simplicity and no rushing and the slow time. So for this clip, you will be getting an introduction clip shortly, but I just felt like I had to kind of reintroduce myself. We are on the way of converting a van, which you'll find out more about in the future, but I'm all about cleaning, organizing, and renovating our garden, and just enjoying life, and showing you the beauty of Cornwall as well. So if that's sort of thing, then do hit the subscribe button. Those air fries are filthy, aren't they? Literally, sorry, just add a bit of Fairy Max and some boiling water, and honestly, it will just clean them up. Just give them a wipe down after. Trust me on that one. And obviously, my sink is cluttered. I am not your show home kind of mum, just as a heads up. Our house is filled, but we are going to declutter together as much as I can. But I love indoor plants as well, so they're always around. So yeah, if you do enjoy, don't forget to hit subscribe and enjoy this video. Welcome back to the channel. So I thought I'd do just kind of like a daily vlog. We're afternoon vlog really. So as you saw, I was just sorting out the kitchen at the very beginning and the garden. So here's a garden update for you guys. So the garden, oh the garden. So we followed the instructions of people of like just sprinkle it on once you break it. And I thought, grand that will work. No, nothing appeared. Oh, I need to charge that baby. It's not working. But no, that did not work. So we had loads of rain, which I bet many people did. And it was like a storm for weeks. <laughs> so, and then you got bubbles. Um, yeah, so we had loads of rain after that one sunny day where we did that little vlog of it um, sorting out the garden. And then now we've got like two weeks worth of sunshine planned apparently. So the garden like got drenched and I mean it was like a mud bath the next day and then and then it dried out and then it was drenched again for a good few days and then it's now like the Sahara Desert where it's cracking because it's that dry but it's cold outside as well it's just cracking and the seeds have done nothing I'll show you in a minute. So what I decided to do was I'm going to do what we've done for many years which is turn and so I decided we're going to toss and turn it like I used to. So this used to be a big job each year. We would turn the whole garden, toss and turn it. So I decided to do that now. Excuse the mess there. <laughs> I do need to ditch the rubbish. Let me get a better view. So yeah, it was time to toss and turn. Colton and Athena just arguing as always at this time. But I need to toss and turn the garden. So as you saw, I started today with Colton. Now this is a lot of hard work, honestly. There are so many stones I've picked out, so much clay. It is never ending this job. And that took me about half an hour, an hour of hard work to get that little section done so far. So I'm gonna take advantage of the lighter nights now as well and keep tossing and turning throughout the whole garden and praying that the seeds will either grow or I'll plant some new seeds. We'll, we'll see how it goes. So that is the update, it's a bit of a fail what we did the first time but I have, I have positive vibes that we'll be fine the grass will grow again so Colton helped me out we've done a big job today so far and then Colton went to Tesco as a granddad which was lovely and Athena hurt her knees so she didn't want to go out today so she's been inside hopefully we're going to go out this afternoon or evening when Bella's back for a little walk and then I'm going to continue with the garden now as my job Got washing hung out though. Like, have you ever felt the joy of washing being hung out? It's just, I must be old. When I see washing hung out, it makes me so happy. Look at the sky, it is gorgeous. It is just so cold, but it's absolutely gorgeous weather, so I can't complain about it being cold. But I will take you out there in a minute and I will show you what we have done and what didn't work, just an up close bit for a bit of an idea. But before I actually show the garden, I need to tidy up quickly before Jordy's back. So let's just do a before shot of the sitting room because Bella. Is going to hopefully tidy up a little in here, aren't you, hey, Bells? I am going to get the kitchen done because the kitchen's a right state. If we just show you a before shot in here, da da! <laughs> Finish off dinner, so yeah, going to get on with that quickly, and I'll just put you on line time lapse. Rabbit 
Day clean of the kitchen, um, had to put washing away that was dry inside. Obviously, we'll get the washing in later, but then somebody needed my attention to tie it. So I stopped everything. Um, Bella attempted to tie the sitting room, but she was playing with Colt and Athena and Hunter because they were already excited when she's had home. But I just kind of mentioned me and seeing who could run the toys quickly because Hunter was getting very unsettled. So I thought if I just hoover around the toys with the marks that I can see, I can go far a hoover later on after dinner. So yeah, so I've done the best I can in the kitchen. It's still a bit cluttered on the sides, but again, I said I've got a cleaning organisational declutter series. So as you may have seen, the first one was to the cupboards. And next, I will be doing. I'm planning on doing the cereal cupboard next to you guys, and I say it's only one cupboard. That's because it is round full, and I don't know what with. So I know people do like 20 covers that I go, but I'm sorry, but I, my series is actually one or two covers that I go. It is that round and I have that little time because I live in the moment. So I like a slow life, but to enjoy life. And cleaning is my therapy granted, my everyday therapy as you see, my everyday kind of cleaning. But the organising side of things, I'm slowly guessing there, but I do believe, firmly believe that um, if I organise while the kids are awake for half an hour, grand, but it's not on my top Peter, priority list. But I really want to get this house organised before summer with you guys. So I'm hoping that we'll get this done together. But I am one of those, like, sunny today. I want to go out this evening, and the kids want to go out this evening for a lovely little walk. So, yeah, I just, well, I'll just show you just the average cleaning that I do and update you on the garden for this clip. I will be doing the organising the cereal cupboard with you guys that will be up by the weekend or Monday next week anyway. So, do not panic. <laughs> they will be coming. I'm trying my hardest and yeah, that is pretty much it. So, I'm going, we've got chicken curry as you may have seen for tonight, butter chicken. So, I put in the chicken breast that we had left, like chicken mini fillets because it will break. Break and then um, I put a carrot and Maybe some onion in it as well on. and the sauce and I always put in a little bit of water from the sauce because I like to swirl the water around and make sure all the sauces out of the jar only a tiny minute bit because what I do then is like so I just put the rice on once rice is cooked and everyone's ready I'll just pour the rice into it so who can mix it all it's up so, so it's a nice thick healthy kind of homely meal 
So yeah, my plans are now, once I get Hunter done, is I was going to mop the floors, but you'll see that in a bit. I'm going to serve dinner soon and get the washing in. I actually want to get the washing in at night time. And I'll show you the garden as well before we go out for our little walk, if we go for one. We'll see how Fina is. Yeah, Tiny Tim's asleep. Tiny Tim, it's Tiny Hunter. I don't know why he's fast asleep. And Bella made some divine raspberry muffins at school today, didn't you, Bells? Yeah, he's on live. Did I bring one and show one? Yeah. It got a bit squished because I, I, I said to Bells I wanted to eat the non squished one, didn't we? But they are really good. You love it, don't you? Yeah. It's nearly red. So um, we're going to do baking Sundays, which we will do with you guys as well. Blueberry one for a friend as well. So me and Bells, because I think Bells wants to vlog it. Do you want to vlog your bacon? On Sundays, me and Bells are going to attend. Well, I say me and more Bells. I just sit there and supervise and then eat the goodies at the end of it. Um, are going to attempt different baking things every Sunday. It's something new with baked on a Sunday, which we are going to vlog with you guys because Bella would really like to share our experience with you guys of baking. I'm not a baker, never have been. My sister has, but I've never been a baker. But Bella really wants to get into more baking and cooking and everything like that. So I said Sundays is a dedicated day for Bells. Afternoon or morning, whenever we don't go out, she's just going to bake whatever she wants. We've got the we've got the normal ingredients that you have, the basic ones, and then if we need extra ones, we'll grab extra ones. But yeah, so no, we're gonna bake a lot more. And I'm on the hunt no, for a bread maker. A free bread maker is what I'm on the hunt for because I missed out on one. So someone local was giving their bread maker away for free. I unfortunately got 10 minutes behind and I messaged them and unfortunately 10 minutes before I messaged someone had taken it. I was well gutted. And um, yeah, I really want to get a bread maker. So I'm looking, keeping an eye out for one that's free or quite cheap. And um, teach the kids making their own bread and stuff like that. It's just just nice isn't it and knowing what you put in it as well so we're going more on the green side this year and um more frugal cooking is the way you'd word it now and we're going to experiment with loads more fresh ingredients and stuff so yep now i've got to sort out the bubbles because they've all spilled Ooh. sorry but i'm loving the lighting in here since the sun's out all the time it's amazing come on we've got to slam the door shut there we go well done buddy the lighting i'm so ready for summer now i know it's spring but by gosh give me the warm weather as well i'm all for it <laughs> so now i'm gonna put our nearly burnt rice in the slow cooker because our slow cooker curry is not looking too shabby i think you warm hey. now so the aim is hey. all of these will break up look at a bit down my door can do it hang on but it's a bit runny, so what I'm hoping is by putting some rice in, it will soak some of it up. <laughs> As you can see, I just mix it all in. Everyone doesn't like it this way, but I do. Daddy. And we've got a nice... Daddy. Yes? We've got blue discos. Blue discos, more blue discos. There is our curry, but the rice is mixed in because it was very runny, so that sorted that out, didn't it? <laughs> Jordy's face is not impressed right now. But I sussed it. I don't have any corn flour, so what I do? You put the rice in, soaks it up, and it makes a nice dish. Why is it runny? Because I added a little bit of water in the jug, so I wanted all the sauce out, and I didn't realise that made it that runny, and I didn't have any corn flour. And then you had to do like this science potion if you're going to use plain flour to thicken it up. So I wasn't bothering that. So I thought I'd just chuck the rice in it. And now look, you would never think that's runny, would you? Do you want a taste test? I'll taste test. What? Put it in my mouth. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're going to have this now. And then I'll catch up about the garden. And also, look what my dad bought me today. My dad bought me one of these. It's a little sweet pepper snack red one to grow. I swear my parents are just saying, spend your money on plastic pots today for the rest of your life because I have got to get... I'll show you later on how many plastic pots I've got to get larger ones because every plant is outgrowing us now now like, it's suddenly all plants are booming and i don't know why but look we've got that plant from that today yeah more plants sweet, sweet pepper, pepper one. Oh, that'd be nice so yeah 
Our little tree suddenly has loads of life to it and taken over our window. Since it was in a tiny pot and then we put it in a bigger pot. But yeah. got one of those. He left his one here, so I'll have to look after it for a day for him because we can take it back tomorrow. But yeah, so we're gonna go and have dinner now. So before I finish off anything, I'm just gonna show you what they're doing in a minute. We just had dinner. So we have put the bounce cast up because it's sunny, it's dried out, we've still got to clean it. Bella's happy, Colton's happy, I feel it's inside because it doesn't come out. But yeah, right, what I'm going to do in this as well. No, I'm going to leave that for a separate clip. I've got to chat to you. <laughs> a different clip about the van. So yeah. I promised I would show you an update of the garden. So this is the patch I started today. Tossed and turned it because as you can see, nothing has grown. It is just dried out and we've come into the Sahara Desert that all our ground has cracked. And me, that's the too. I'm going to clean that now for you, baby. If you come off, I'll clean it. So we are now digging up the garden. Again. But I think I did a good job there. There's roots, so something's growing. So I made a start, we've just got all this to do. Hopefully by the end of the week's my aim to have all this done. Because if I can do that in like half an hour with, with going between all the kids, I'm pretty sure I can get the rest done. Especially with the lighter evenings. It is hard work though, like I am tired. Like, I am tired from doing the garden already today. Like, it's mad. So yeah, that's the update for the garden. Get that all turned over. And I'll give you another update, bigger update in a few weeks time or a week's time actually, by the end of the week. I'll record an update at the end of the week and show you it done and get up next week for you guys. So this is a short and sweet one, but I can't really say much more about the garden. That's the first stage, gotta do that. So yeah, it's joyful. Got a pressure, pressure washer there that we are gonna be using to clean the decking in the front of the house, which will be part of the garden transformation that we'll join you guys with us. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little quick update of the garden and I hope you're enjoying sunny weather like we are for once. This is the first sunny day we've had in a long, long time, honestly. And it's supposed to stay for two weeks, so fingers crossed it does. And yeah, let's we'll see where we go with the garden. I hope you enjoyed this bit much of everyday kind of cleaning that I've had to do and the, gar and the garden as well. And I will see you all next time for a van discussion, talking about what we're going to do with the van, and then we've got organising and a declare episode coming up as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and hit, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment, are you transforming your garden this year as well? Does your garden do what our garden is doing? It's just, just, just failing. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and I will see you all next time. Quick update before I end it, actually. I know I've done the ending, but anyway. Geordie has done a lot more within less than half an hour. Maybe I'm slacking. But this is going to take us this weekend, at least. So, that is definitely going to happen. God, you made it look a lot better than my bit. What, my bit went shame now. Shouldn't have recorded this bit. Should have just left it. Huh? Yeah, but all the big clumps are all rigged. I need to move the soil from here over because it's a big clump. We've all garden, Panic, Athena isn't injured, she's just falling out of Bella. That's why we didn't jump off the ground quite quick enough. But it's a lovely sky tonight and I hung the washing out so it's Geordie's turn to bring the washing in. So yeah, and Hunter's ready for bed. Hunty! He's the quiet one out of them all when they all fall out. But yeah, so I end it now. That's an update there for you guys. So we'll see you next time. Say bye! Oh, bye bye. <laughs>